New from Biopack Systems, Biopack is proud to introduce multi subject monitoring systems for use with Acknowledge Software and the MP150 Research System. Available options include a 4 or 8 camera system, as well as an upgrade from the 4 to the 8 camera configuration. The 4 and 8 camera packages include everything you will need for a 4 or 8 camera setup. The systems connect directly to your Windows PC via a FireWire connection and are controlled through the media menu in Acknowledge version 4.1 or above. Some of the key components for both the 4 or 8 channel system include the CCD cameras with 18 meter cabling. It's important to note that these cameras work well in both low light and normal light conditions. The tripod stands with accessories including gooseneck adapters for precise camera positioning, a 4 or 8 channel high speed color multiplexer, and the FireWire A to D video converter with power supply and FireWire cable for connection to your PC. Here you can see the live data being recorded from our three participants. On the right hand side of your screen you'll see the video capture window showing the four camera views. On the left hand side of the screen you'll see the acknowledged software capturing the pulse, skin conductance, and pulse rate data from each of our participants. The four camera views from the system can be stacked or you can cycle through the cameras one by one, such as we're doing here, to get a close-up view of what's going on with each participant at any given time. So here we see participant 1, participant 2, and participant 3 as they're engaging in a conversation. This is useful for when you want to focus on one person or another person at any given time. You can then easily stack the camera views back on top of each other by using the buttons on the front of your multiplexer. Let's take a closer look at the link between the video capture and the physiology data as we take a look at what a data file looks like after you've completed recording. Now that we've finished recording, we can take a look at how the video data and physiology data are linked for analysis. One of the easiest ways to demonstrate this link is to simply come to your playback viewer and click on play. Now, as you watch the playback viewer on the right hand side of your screen, you'll see our subjects engaging in conversation. What you'll also see is on the left hand side where our data is located, you'll see this iBeam cursor scrolling through the data in time with the video. So as we're going through the video, the iBeam cursor is going through the corresponding data points in our physiology data. Another way we can take a look at the link between the video and the physiology is to take a look at our physiology data on the left hand side and select an area that we're interested in. We can do this either frame by frame by simply clicking on data points, or what we can do is go to the beginning of this area and then click on play to watch what's transpiring in our conversation. Another way of taking a look at the data is simply to just grab the scroll bar on the playback viewer and scroll through. This way, again, we'll scroll through both our physiological data and the video so we can take a look at what's happening in both and then we can stop and further investigate any areas of interest. As you can see, this link between the video data and the physiological data is a powerful research tool, one that can be applied over multiple disciplines including psychophysiology, exercise physiology, animal physiology, and sleep studies. Now that we've seen the system in action, let's take a look at some of the details such as how to synchronize using a standard LED light. For right now, we're going to take a look at camera 4, which has our MP150 system and an LED indicator light. To do this, I can just hit the camera 4 button on our multiplexer. From here, we can now see that there is an LED light and the MP150 system. The MP150 system is going to output to the LED, causing it to flash. We are then going to capture this back through an analog channel to see the pulse displayed on the screen. From here, we can see if there is any delay between when the light is flashing and when the pulse is showing on our video screen. We can then take that and enter it into our offset. I'll show you how that's done right now. When we click on Start, you'll see the pulse is being output over here on the left-hand side, 
and on the right hand side you'll see the LED light flashing. We'll record a few pulses to make sure that we've captured enough to get a good offset reading. Once we've recorded some pulses, we can click on stop. Now we can auto scale horizontal to show all of the pulses we just recorded. Now we can switch to our playback window and we can zoom in on a specific pulse. Now what we can do is click in our file and you'll see as I'm selecting data points within our file, it's showing me the corresponding video frame. What I'm looking for is where on the video the light is flashing. So right here, you can see the light is not on. If I move a little bit forward, we're going to keep going until the light flashes. Okay, so here we can see the camera is capturing the flash, but over here it's not showing our peak. So what we can do is highlight from the point we're at to the point where our peak starts and take a look at that delay. Right now, it's about 15 milliseconds. What we can do is then go back to the media menu, click on setup, go to our linked media, and edit our delay. Right now, it's set to a negative 130. We can change it to a negative 15 milliseconds. What we're saying is the flash is showing about 15 milliseconds before it's showing in our data. Click on OK. Click on OK, and now we're ready to record the physiology with the best possible synchronization. Now that you've seen how to set up your system using an LED light as a reference, let's go over some important timing information. Synchronization between the recorded physiology data and the video data using Acknowledge in the MP150 is quite precise. Multiple tests were performed over varying times from 0 to 24 hours to take a look at the offset or difference between the physiology data and the video frames. After 45 minutes of recording, you can see there was a 30 millisecond offset or difference between the physiology data and the video data, which corresponds to approximately one video frame. After 24 hours of recording, there was a 1.793 second offset or difference, which corresponds to about 54 video frames. This timing delay is due to differences in the internal clocks of the MP150 system and computer. For more information, you can request the application note from the Biopack Support Department. To request a quotation or for any other sales-related inquiry, please contact your local Biopack representative or email us at sales at biopack.com. For additional technical information or to request the application note, please contact our support department at support at biopack.com. You can also give us a call at area code 805-685-0066.